going on, aliens? I'm Mike Rosa, and today I got you five bodyweight-only bicep exercises. Absolutely no equipment is needed. Now, if you have equipment available, I would recommend you use it, because if you don't have any equipment available, then you're going to have to create your own resistance, especially for the biceps. And during these five exercises, I'll take you through setup, tips to optimize the activation of the biceps, and then recommendations of sets, reps, or time intervals, depending on the exercise and your preference. I'll make sure you have all the tools you need to optimize these five movements if you're someone who's training at home and has no equipment available to them and you're trying to build your biceps. This will build your biceps. It is effective, but I do want to again make the point of saying if you have equipment available, dumbbells, resistance bands, it is a lot easier to apply tension to your biceps if you have that equipment. So use it. But if you don't have the equipment, there is always a way to get them gains, aliens. And that's what I want you to understand here because you can get results even with muscles like your biceps if there's no equipment around. And here's how you do it, aliens. I'm going to stop talking. But real quick before I do, if you're looking for full at-home workout programs, head on over to anabolicaliens.com. And if you haven't yet, download my free workout app, Exercise, available in the app and Play Store, where you can choose what equipment you have available to you and then make a workout routine in seconds tailored specifically to you. Let's get it, aliens. I'm going to get into the first exercise. All right, aliens, the first exercise is the seated concentration curl. Now remember, there is no equipment needed for these exercises, so that means our body is going to have to create its own resistance. Set up this concentration curl sitting down on a chair, couch, or whatever surface is most convenient to you. Secure the back of one arm against the inside of your leg. The elbow should be slightly free, meaning not stuck against your leg so you're able to actually move your arm with a full range of motion, but it's essential your elbow remains stationary, which is why the back of our arm is positioned against the inside of our leg for stability. The other arm can be placed wherever comfortable and just used for extra stability. Now with the arm that's planted on the inside of your leg, grab underneath your alternate leg's knee to secure a grip. Now you're in a seated bent over position with one arm secured ready to be concentrated on curling upward. Now since your hand is underneath the alternate knee, as you curl up your alternate leg is coming along with the motion. This is where the resistance is applied. As you're curling up with your arm, you're pushing down against the curl with your leg. The harder you push against the curl, the more activation will take place in your bicep muscles. Focus on the squeeze and go slow. Bodyweight bicep exercises require a lot of mind muscle connection. If you're not feeling your bicep activating, then you have to mentally get more concentrated on recruiting the bicep muscles. Literally look at your bicep as you curl. Think about that engagement and it will actually help you activate that bicep more optimally. Try 10 to 15 reps or 45 seconds up to one minute of intensity for three to four sets. Now onto the second exercise, which is the one arm push curl. Stand up and have one arm fully extended down with the palm facing forward. It's essential the palm stays forward throughout this entire exercise. With your alternate arm, position your hand on the lower part of the wrist right above the hand of your arm that is fully extended down. You are now set up ready to curl. Before you curl though, start getting your mind muscle connection involved now by using the alternate arm to push down on the arm that's extended so it can initially feel some activation right off the bat. As you curl up with the arm with its palm facing forward, you are at the same time actively pushing down with the alternate arm creating resistance. The harder you push down against the curl, the more tension you'll feel in your bicep muscles. It's normal if you feel your tricep as you push down, but remember, the focus is on the curling arm, so you really need to pinpoint your mind muscle connection on that bicep. Go slow and controlled, this shouldn't be easy. It will only be easy if you don't take the pushing element seriously. You have the power to make this as challenging as you want, so push yourself. Focus and try 10 to 15 reps or 45 seconds to one minute of intensity for three to four sets. The third exercise is the one arm push hammer curl, which is the same concepts as the previous one arm push curl, but now instead of your palm facing forward, your palm is gonna be facing inward. This changes the activation within the bicep and actually recruits more engagement from the brachial radialis. Again, use the alternate arm to push down against the curl. I find the best place to push down is the lower part of the wrist right before the hand. You can choose to have your fingers spread or clenched in a fist, that is per your comfort and whatever helps you optimally feel your bicep being activated the most. Also always do your best to fully extend the curling arm back down each rep to get a full range of motion activating the most bicep muscle fibers. You can think of the one arm push curl as a variation to the normal palm forward curl if you were using dumbbells and this variation is a substitute for standard hammer curl. 
Since it's body weight only, you just have to understand the most important part is that you're creating your own resistance. So push yourself because you have the power to make it very intense or if you're not pushing hard, you won't feel much activation at all. Hold yourself accountable and you got this aliens. Try 10 to 15 reps or 45 seconds to 1 minute of high intensity for 3 to 4 sets. The fourth exercise I call the alternating angled outer leg curl. Set up by lying on your back. Bring the knees in close enough so you can fully extend both arms and they can secure a grip underneath your knees or right to the side of them. Whatever method works best for you to stabilize a grip position. Then performing one side at a time and alternating, you're curling the arm back using the leg to create resistance. So again, as you curl in, you're fighting against the curl with the leg by pushing out. Here is your form of resistance. A specific element to this motion that is crucial is that you're also keeping your elbows up and pointed out to the side as you curl in. This is the angling aspect of the curl. You are keeping the elbow still and angled outward as you curl in with your arm using your leg as resistance. Focus on that bicep, go slow and controlled, and alternate sides. Try 10 to 15 reps or 45 seconds to 1 minute of intensity for 3 to 4 sets. And for the rep and time recommendations, for any exercise that is one-sided, you always apply these recommendations to both sides. So just to fully clarify, if you're doing an alternating exercise like we're doing here, one rep would be considered both sides. On to the fifth and final exercise of this video, we'll be doing the grabbing reverse curl. Set up by again lying on your back. Bring your knees in close enough so your arms can reach them while being fully extended. With your palms facing down, grab onto your shorts or pants. You need to secure a grip to hold on tight. Then you're curling in with both arms at the same time and both legs are being used to push against the curl to create resistance. This exercise is an example of a variation for the standard reverse curl. Go slow and get a full range of motion. Since you're not holding onto your body this time, but instead a piece of clothing, it's even more important that you place extra focus on your biceps for the mind-muscle connection. For any of these exercises, if you don't feel the biceps getting worked, then 99% of the time in these scenarios, it will either be lack of mind-muscle connection or lack of intensity on your end creating the resistance. So focus and squeeze aliens, there is always a way to get them gains. Try 10 to 15 reps or 45 seconds to 1 minute of high intensity for 3 to 4 sets. I hope you enjoyed the video aliens and make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and click that notification bell right next to subscribe so you don't miss any new video uploads for me. I'm uploading as much as I freaking can and I'm in the process of planning out the next 30 day series. Aliens, I'm going to do back at home bodyweight and dumbbells. That is going to be the next series. It had the most amount of votes and it will complete all the muscle groups for these 30 day series and then I am planning on doing a full body fat burning cardio series hit style after the back series. So we got a lot more 30 day workout series coming and I again am also planning a resistance band new series for the channel. So we got a ton of content coming aliens. I'm really excited but I want you to be able to take full advantage if you're someone who doesn't have any equipment at home because I do not want you to have any excuses. There is a way to get them gains. Take advantage of these videos. Actually apply that tension that you need to see actual results. It is on you aliens because there is a way to do it. Hold yourself accountable and let's have some fun getting the gains out of this world. Make sure to leave a comment which muscle group you'd like me to do next for this series because I will be covering all of the muscle groups for body weight and then if y'all love it I will be doing every equipment option if it's something you're interested in. Thank you for your support aliens and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!